Today's tip is about how to hear and experience your loved one's concerns. So if you're around other people that are not healthcare providers or working in a healthcare setting, they may not understand um, how you're feeling or why you keep coming back to work or why you would even want to be what you are um, in this COVID-19 situation. So what we have to do is figure out a way to translate the reasons why we come to work for the people that are not in our field. So maybe they say to you, I don't want you to go there anymore, or why do you keep going back to that job, or just do something else with your time, or just stay home. But there's that feeling inside of you that wants to serve, which is why we all came to the work, is because we want to help people and make them better. So you're going to want to keep coming back to work, especially in COVID-19, and you've got to figure out a way to talk to the people that love you about that. So the tip of the day is I want you to listen to them first, hear their concerns, hear their feelings, and understand that they're valid and that they love you and that they're worried about you and that they're showing their love in all different types of worried ways and that that's really normal. So I want you to hear them, give them time and space to speak to you about, your concern, about their concerns. And then uh, the second part is to validate their concerns, to say things like, I know you're worried about me, I understand that you don't want me to go back to work. I understand that you're scared for me because of the environment I'm going to work in. So validate them. And then the last thing I want you to try to remember and share with them is the reasons why you come to work. You don't have to share who you helped. Please don't share any hip of information or demographics. You know that already. But do share with them why you do the job that you do. So you can talk to them about healing people. You can talk to them about helping people when they're at their most fearful and frightened. And so the tip of the day is how to help your loved ones understand why you keep coming back to work. So I want you to listen to them, validate them, and then share with them the reward you're getting from being who you are and being a part of this team. Thanks a lot for your time. Thanks for everything you're doing. We gotta keep going, we're gonna make it through it, and I'm right here with you. Uh, I'm proud to be on this team. I'll see you next time with another tip, bye.